Welcome on Cool Paradigms. Here is the accelerated full sequence to make a 100% organic non-gluten buckwheat bread. So the dough is made of 800 grams of full organic milk kefir, which is a little bit more than 0.8 liters. Then adding to it a full teaspoon of thin marine salt. Then adding more and more buckwheat flour for a total of 500 grams. This could change slightly depending on the consistency of the milk kefir. For example, some kefir made with skim milk would obviously need a bit more flour to absorb the supplementary part of water. A good rule of thumb is that it should start to become slightly difficult to mix dough with the whisk. This rule is especially useful if we use a liquid base for the first time. For example, water kefir would need more flour than milk kefir and the appropriate proportions are easy to guess when being attentive to the relative thickness of the dough. Then it's necessary to let the dough rise between 12 and 24 hours depending on the room temperature and adding a bit of fresh milk to the milk kefir can speed it up because the microorganisms will have more lactose they are used to digest. Once raised, we should be very careful not to disrupt the bubble structure because it's of course less resistant than with gluten breads and if the bubbles collapse on a thick enough layer maybe just a few millimeters is going to seriously obstruct the heat diffusion and afterward the, wa the water evaporation implying often an extra hard burned crust and the bottom of the bowl not cooked enough then it was cooked for 50 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius in a preheated oven with a top and a bottom heating element. Then resting 20 more minutes inside the cooling oven when keeping the door closed. It's important to note that the thick glass bowl used for this bread helps to cook it in a homogeneous way as a comparison, if we use a metal bowl, the part of the bread in contact with the bottom of the metal bowl is likely to be too cooked for such conditions and decreasing a bit the oven temperature is the possible solution. Once cooked, it's important to remove the bread from its bowl with a flexible knife. Uh, while it's still very hot, so it can evaporate a maximum of water. By the way, to avoid condensation on its support and favor more evaporation, it's better to support the cooling bread with a grid than with a plate. It's important to note that the evaporation step is more important than with gluten bread because non-gluten breads have generally more water because of, because of the more or less liquid dough. Thank you for watching.